being innocent. Alexis says that Kathy Helton's Christmas. I don't know how that picture got out there. Oh, please. So when I read this article that says they bonded over being single, bullshit. You bond over a sick child, losing a mother, being from the same small town, you know, having a transgender child, anything else you're going through. None of that's bad, but just it's life stuff. You bond over that. You don't bond over just being single. Let's just call it what it is. I'm agreeing with Miss Victoria Gumbelson, who just did an interview. You're bonding over both being fame whores, and this is a win-win for both of you. John wants to be back in the limelight, back on the TV. You hook your star to Alexis. Now, Alexis, now I told you I slept at Alexis's in like 2020. Alexis really, truly was, she walked away from this. She really wasn't that person who was talking about this every minute of the day. We all know the type that says they don't want to be back on Housewives, but talks about it 24-7. Alexis really moved on. She was raising her children. I always said, I think Alexis is the prime person to go back. She was married to a man that everyone hated. I mean, everyone talks about my friend Amber, Marchese's husband, how they don't like him. Love my Amber. But, you know, Alexis also was married to a man that nobody liked. So her life totally changed. She was dating this guy. But now more than ever, I mean, losing a parent changes you. I think that made her wake up and say, I'm with this guy. The guy wouldn't marry her. I mean, it was going on and on and on and on. So I think Alexis just woke up and is like, it's not that hard. Kristen Cavallari just did a thing on her podcast, which I agree with. She's like, if someone's not marrying you after a certain age, after a certain short while, they're just not into you. Kristen also said like, it's very simple. If you text someone and they don't text you right back, they're just not into you. I really believe in all of this. I believe it's very simple. I believe people in life that have drama, want drama in their life. I think it's really easy. You met me. We went out. I texted you. You didn't text me back. That's so, so fine. I'm not interested anymore. You're not interested in me. Whatever else comes with that and, oh, this, that, holidays, busy, do, 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 doesn't work that way. When you meet someone and you're like, wow, it's wow, and you get the text. Anyone where there's not, it's not easy text. It's just like, forget it, move the fuck on. I'm with Cavallari on this one. So I think Alexis had this thing, you lose a parent, and it's 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 a thing in life, and you just kind of take stock of your life, like how Richards is doing. And then after that, you're like, goodbye, because you're not the right one for me, because you're dragging this shit along. And then that's it. Now, I think somewhere in there, Alexis Bravo was talking to her all these years, but I think losing the mother, ditching the boyfriend, the children are older now the son is about to go to like to college or i think he's in college so i think it's a different time in her life and i think she's ready now i think going back to bravo con honey i think put the cherry on the top of the cake she was up there with Lori peterson and our good friend joe de la rosa and people are screaming and this and that and i think miss alexis got a little taste of the fame and she is back. And I have never seen someone go from zero to 100 this quick. So I think BravoCon ignited it. She's going to talk to Bravo. Do I think Alexis could have, should have, would have gotten back on the Orange County Housewives without John Jansen? I do. I really do. I think there's no more Jim Bellino. Your mother passed away. You broke up. The kids are older. Alexis looks the part. Jesus Jugs is in the house. The girls are out. I think Alexis is so prime to come back it, having nothing to do with john however i am blown away i think alexis is a fucking sh wolf in sheep's clothes clothes i mean could this be any better this is shannon's kryptonite and now you're with him and yeah you're going to meet bravo the next day after this is announced Fucking job well done, Jesus, Alexis, Bellino, Jugs. Job well done. I'm in awe. I'm in awe. I say Erica Jane should teach a course about landing a rich guy. Alexis should teach a course about how to get back on Housewives. Good job, girl. Good job. Because I really don't think Alexis wanted back on all these years and she was trying. I think she just recently decided the time is right now. And here we go. I think this is the nail in her coffin. I think the offer is out. 
Uh, honey, I'm recording this right now on Thursday, right now at 8, 16 a.m. You're all going to listen to this at 5.30 on Saturday. Within the next 48 hours, the offer might have already been made and signed. Job well done, girl. We'll talk about this more on the main show. We got. We have to move on. We're not going to cover the dinner party from hell. Um. By the way, Kelly Dodd, I mean, she's always got something to say that Kelly Dodd. She says that Vicky was not asked back, is not coming back, and they gave her the the re, the housewife of the year, whatever the fuck it was called. Can't even fucking remember. Um, as like a parting gift. Kelly, at least do research before you just open your mouth. I don't disagree with Kelly. I mean, Vicky ain't getting her same salary, which she says she demands if she comes back. I think... I mean, I don't know. I, I'm so torn about Vicky. Maybe they'll just let her bop around, but she's not going to be a main part of the show. Bye, Taylor. It was good. We're not going to see Taylor on our TVs for a very long time. We tried it. It's failed. Before we get into the dinner party from hell, on your Bish Therapist um, webpage, it's called your Bish Therapist, they came out with this whole theory that maybe after Kyle's friend Lorraine died, Kyle needed to turn to Mauricio and Mauricio, you know, tried to help, but maybe wasn't there emotionally the way that Kyle needed. And maybe that is what kind of woke Kyle's eyes up because losing a friend also is a big thing in addition to losing a parent, especially when you're a certain age. And then, sorry, and then... Like Kyle just said, you weren't there emotionally for me. Now, Kyle shared this theory of your Bish therapist's Instagram page. All of, she put it on her story. So it seems like Kyle is saying, yes, this is yes. This is exactly what happened. So, I mean, it's basically what this podcast or web page is saying is Mauricio did not emotionally fulfill you. And Kyle is sharing that. So she is actually saying, Mauricio did not emotionally fulfill me. Didn't our good, really very good friend, very good friend, Allison Dubois say this 13 fucking years ago. So Kyle is actually in the news trashing my good friend, Allison. And Allison's a strong woman. She doesn't need me to fight her battles. But I'm just saying, she's talking out of both sides of her mouth, this Kyle, because she's saying, well, Allison was picking up on Camille's divorce and Camille's marriage problems, which Allison has explained why that wasn't true. But she's also saying, yes, he didn't emotionally fulfill me. You're basically saying Allison was right. Which is it, Kyle? Pick a lane. Stay in it, girl. I love seeing all these people. This this episode to me was like a comedy of errors. There's I love when there's this many housewives because there's so much going on. There's so much going on. Well, it seems at this dinner party from hell that um, Erica wants to have a love affair, just like the movies, just like the movies. I mean, then Sutton points out that you did have a love affair and, um, you know, it was Harold and Maude in reverse. And 